Wow, it's been quite some time since I last posted a video, and I do apologize. There's a whole lot of things I want to cover that I want to do videos on, but if you followed me elsewhere, you know I've just been absolutely busy, crazy with work, and we just won't even get into that. And I'll try not to ramble on too much. So, the long story short, this is my latest deviation. I happen to have a small window of free time right now. So... The latest deviation being, I have stepped into the world of Macintosh. That's somewhere I never reckon I'd ever be. But, hey Microsoft, when you can't even give your product away for free, there's your sign. I know Windows 7 ain't gonna last forever, and being bored at work, one thing led to another. I discovered Macintosh. And most of the applications that I use all have a Macintosh version. And so far, they've been pretty much, you know... Not really much difference, so that's when I reckon, hey, 1 plus 1 equals 2. I'll give it a fair go. So, that being said, the main purpose of this video, XP Pin 22. Since I did a video for the driver installation on Windows, I reckon, hey, why not do one for Mac? So, I'll give you a rundown of the current system that I will be installing it on. Keep in mind, there's actually two systems here. This and this are two monitors, of course, on the same system, and that's a separate Mac system. Now, just as with the Windows 7 system, this is my 1440p monitor. The XP Pen is off screen down to your right, but because the XP Pen is 1080p and I got this in duplication, my 1440p monitor will be displaying at 1080p. The system that this installation will be demonstrated on, zoom in for you. Now, if you're a Mac aficionado, you will notice right away that you're probably like, um, that's not a normal Mac CPU. And you're right. That is an X99. And that is because that is my Hackintosh. Nonetheless, the system all works the same. So, let's move oh, on. I also forgot to mention... In this video, I will also be attempting to install Wacom drivers in addition to the XP Pen drivers. I did not do a video of this for the Windows 7, but what I had to do was a bit of a trick to get both sets of drivers to install. But the XP Pen that I had bought was before they had the you know controls on the side, which if you are an artist doing drawings and whatnot, having control is, oh man, it's a lifesaver. So... This is, of course, if you have a 27-inch Cintiq, you recognize that. So, I do not know if I will be able to perform the same installation on the Mac as I did with Windows, but we will find now, out. Now, the driver that I will be demonstrating in this video is this one here. And as you can see, just barely, it is dated the 2nd of June, 2016. And I really hate these websites that pop up that little chat. No, if I wanted your help, I would have initiated that. Really annoying. And for the Wacom product, they kind of have a universal does everything driver for many of their latest products. Nonetheless, what I will be installing or attempting to install is this one right here for Mac OS X. And it's dated the 7th of June, 2017. Now I have not plugged the USB lead in. And just like the Windows, I'm going to do the same. I, I had misplaced my manual. Nonetheless, I have a hub here since my box is way over there. So, we'll plug this in before doing any drivers because that's how it had mentioned to do the Windows. I could be wrong here, but we're going to find out. And so far, no changes on the screen. We'll go up into system information and see if it has detected this device being plugged in. Oh, so it would be on a USB. Ah, there it is. 21.5 inch tablet monitor. So it has recognized it. If things are just like the Windows. I will do the same way I did. And yes, sometimes you'll get that nag, granny nag message. 
So when you do that, you got to go into your system prefs, security, open anyways. Real who booger pain, but tells you something about the the people who write the drivers, eh? And the applications. Now, before I go any further, what I had to do on Windows to get the Wacom to go is I had to initiate this first. Now I'll initiate the Wacom. Actually, you know what? Let's step back. Let's not do that. Let's just focus on the XP pen for now. The 1440p monitor shows up on this camera a whole lot better, I must admit. All users. And we'll just go with the defaults. Get to enter your password. Installation was it successful. And I gotta say, that was a whole lot less fuss than Windows. It just kind of... So we have the pen and the information. We won't even mess with none of this. We'll go straight for the gusto, just like we did on... Get the pen out. And let's see. Yes. It already is tracking the cursor. So I'm going to close out of that. I got to move my icon there, right? There we are. Now it's kind of awkward to manipulate this standing so far away. You've got the camera tripod in the way. But nonetheless, we'll go ahead and go into Clip Studio. And we'll see how the... You know, pressure sensitivity and all that. If I got that and if it's working right out the gate. Go with the large pen so you can see it on the camera. And yes. Pressure seems to be working pretty, pretty good. However, I can't really make a good full determination on how well this setup will work on Mac. Until I do a couple of drawings. You know, have some time to properly sit down and see if it's got quirks. Because I will say... That the Windows 7 drivers, as a lot of people have noticed, I didn't really have troubles installing it. But boy, were they just, it, it's a non-stop battle. And I will probably have to do another video on that sometime later. Nonetheless, that's that. So now, I will try to install this. And this shall be interesting. No, no, no save. I've got that there ready to go. I will insert this receiver into my USB. And just like before, I'm going to system information and see if it has enumerate it on the USB Express key remote there we are so I know the hardware has been detected so we'll see if I will be able to install this or if it's going to be a fit like it was with Windows with Windows you cannot install two sets of tablet drivers it was one or the other and there's a bit of a trick I had to do to get it to play with both of them You must agree. Crazy for some drivers to take up so much space. You must restart your computer. Yes, that's fine. Password? Watch the new grass grow. I am just shocked so far it seems successful now we'll have to do a restart so I will be back oh, there we are 
fresh system reboot. Now for the real magic to happen. I'm still completely shocked. Still tracking. I'm going to Clip Studio again. It's really hard to do a double click. Not being in my normal position. Egonomics or whatever you say, major effects. And we'll make sure that the pen is still doing what it needs to do. Yes, still works like a charm. Now, enter the Wacom remote. And I have not configured or done nothing with this yet. Ah, check that out. That's just a simple rotate. But what that tells me is that this will function. Now, one thing I will say, and I'm glad that this worked. I mean, I am just completely thrilled. There is so much uh, sorcery I had to do to get this and the XP pen to work on Windows 7. And here on the Mac, you just installed two drivers and you're good to go. But what ended up happening, and I'll have to do another video, is that when you uninstall this driver and you reinstall it, all your configurations that you do go bye-bye. That's why I am so, so happy that this just works because it was uh, I'll have to do another video on that, but so there you are so far everything seems to be good I will definitely have to do a follow-up video to you know See how this goes and if I have any troubles in addition to making the video on how to install this and the XP pen Wacom and the XP pen on Windows 7 at the same time nonetheless later